Hi guys, Cranky Cows here. I'm the Shapester. And we're back with Life is Strange Before the Storm, episode 3 in what I think will be the final part of the <gasps> episode. Um, so we've got to try and find Rachel's mum, Sarah. Yeah, we have. Um, and we're at this creepy... I'm sure Sarah and Damon are here. Uh, it's where we went to see the gig, isn't it? Yeah, this is where the whole them. Before the Storm started, if I remember correctly. Move. Move. Okay. I remember, that. Wow. I remember that being there last time. Don't mess with Damon Merrick, yeah. Are you going to tag it? Yeah. Don't oh. tell me okay. what to do. Can I not tag it? No, sorry, that's what it actually was. Oh, it's it called a tag. It's called a tag, okay. yeah, so I realised that. I think. Oh, yeah, that. The bong? bong. Yeah. Glad to see the bong made it. Um, knife. Let's take the knife. Yes, please. Yep, I think you might need that. Great, I feel like that might help. Yep, I have a feeling, uh, all being well, Damon might be on the receiving end of that. I don't know whether we want to go down that route, but... I hope not, but if, nasty it, piece if, of work, we need to, if we need to do it to save Sarah, then... Uh, yeah, exactly. You've got to believe me, I'm not a goddamn snitch. Who the fuck told you that? So, we grasped on Sheldon, didn't we, in the last yep, episode? we did. Well, he was did the only one... Go... Do you want to go that way yet? Can you go that way? Uh, oh, you, oh, you well, mean go that way? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I have to, I guess. I'm just trying to make sure I don't miss anything. No. Oh. Oh. Shh. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye bye. Oh, lovely. What the fuck? Why would he do Just this? Want to meet my daughter? Can't you understand? Why does Your he? Daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So James is so getting Damon to do about. this. Can't yeah. Let the public you know? know. What? The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to. Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture, Shit. so that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. Do something before you get before that happens, please. After all, no one believes oh, that please. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. So he's gonna give her an overdose. To do something. Make it look like she's overdosed or something. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? Use the knife. That's probably not a good idea. I've got your money right here. The money James owes you. How the fuck do you... Run! No one has to know. Just... Just let her go, and I won't say. <gasps> Fuck. No. no. Shit. Oh Hello. shit. Talking's over. Leave her alone. Shut up. <laughs> what the? Fuck. What? You boosted the DA's shit. Got my money. Burn the evidence. All that? Oh, I'm just trying to help. Oh, you're a Get lovely piece of work, aren't you? But then we need that already. I didn't? said, shut the fuck up! Oh God, I should have used the knife. Well, that probably wouldn't have worked. No. Go to your fucking happy place. Run. Let this be a lesson. Kid, make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with Damon? What did you do? <gasps> Nathan, okay. Oh. Nathan, Frank. Um, Frank. <laughs> oh, 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet, Chloe. Mm. Frank, you don't really want to do this again. Do you? 
Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Sarah. Oh, the cat's got fluff on the nose. Your daughter, she... Not a good dog. Ah. Sarah? Uh, what? Chloe Price. Is this some weird, like, dream or something? Yeah. You know who been. I am? I saw you in the play. You were funny. But she wouldn't know that, though. Thanks. It's a dream. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry for Rachel. Can never know. Is she dead? Is she dead? Because we can talk to our dad, who's dead. But Do we think that's that, what's happening? The reason here? I'm sort of thinking, okay, what's what's going on here is because did Chloe know that Sarah saw the play? I'm not sure she did. No. I mean, we know from the sort of bit at the end, which showed Sarah sort of being there in a the distance and then walking off. Yeah. But did Chloe know that? Why is it just being implied that Chloe didn't know that? Well, Sarah just said, "I saw you in the play. That's how I knew who you are." Yeah. And how's that? How's Chloe going to have made that up in her head if she? You know, if she, oh, if she, if this is Chloe's sort yeah. of dream. Okay, I got you. Don't know. So then. It'd be a bit of a weird thing for her head to come no, up. No, I get you. So you're saying so. if it's Chloe's dream, she wouldn't know that information. No, yeah, unless gotcha. she'd just come, come up with it out of nowhere, if that makes sense. No, about what? What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. I definitely don't understand this. <laughs> Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James <laughs> is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll I mean, take that true. away from her. Mm -hmm. Forever. That's relating to the um, thing that she, her, she was having that conversation with her dad in a latest stream. Yeah, it with, depends whether you yeah. believe honesty is the best policy. She deserves um, to meet you. Definitely, but she deserves the truth. Don't know. And but. just what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. What do you say in response to that? I don't know. I, I realise I've been picking stuff without checking. Yeah. <laughs> But I would have let you do that in the... I mean, do you have an opinion on this one? I don't really know. I don't really know either. I mean... Everyone's a little bit broken. Yeah. Just in different ways, I would yeah. say. Everybody's broken, Sarah. Oh? Does everybody abandon their own child for 15 years? Does everybody take money to stay away? You're here now. That's what matters. And what do you know? I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. 
I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. He was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. He didn't know about that. I'm too. sorry. It looked like she was going to say she knew mm. something about that. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. This is real life, isn't it? I think it seems maybe. like it. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I, I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented, and she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life, raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. Hmm. Yeah, far from perfect, for sure. Um, I really have no idea where this is going to go. I don't know about you. Yeah, I don't. Even without all this shit, the Ambers are far from perfect. James is an elitist asshole, and, and Rose lets him walk all over her. Maybe. What Rachel needs, though, <coughs> is not to have her father taken away from her. <coughs> he doesn't oh, deserve it. It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Yeah, Tell and she her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Oh. Remember your letter? The so. ones that she was writing. Mm. Mm. I'm tempted to say that. I don't remember your letter mm -hmm. option. I'm leaning towards that because it's not sort of saying I can't lie to her because that's very much like I'm going to tell her. The letter thing doesn't sort of Let's say, say the letter. Do it, yeah. The worst mistake you ever made was giving Rachel up. That's what you said in your letter to her. You read that. You don't have to make the same mistake twice. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Uh, what? Let me give well, her the father mm. she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. Well, this sucks. So please. It does. 
Tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can. Without me. What are we going to do? When it comes to that sort of decision, I mean... Wait! Oh, it's getting quite dark. One sec, guys. I'm going to sort out the lighting. That's a bit better. Right, um... Oh, what do we say? I'll take care of her. That's basically like trying to get her to stay or admitting defeat, in a way, and saying, right, okay, fine. Well, I mean, she's going to leave, isn't she? No idea. She's going to leave, even if I say don't leave. So I'm inclined to say I'll take care of her. All right, go for it. I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you. Goodbye, Chloe. What the heck happened with Damon and Frank? So I'm guessing Frank sort of ran off, or Damon and Frank ran off somewhere, and that's allowed us to have this conversation, even though Chloe mm. was like whacked in the head. So that was actually happening. Yep. In real time. So we're back here. Oh, they brought the um, nightlight conversion thing we ended up doing before. Hello. Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside. Ooh. How are you feeling? Like I got stabbed? <laughs> Doc says there'll be a sick scar. Maybe a tattoo is in order. Hmm. Fuck yeah. We never actually escaped. Did we? We've got time. All the time in the world. So, how did everything go? Rachel, I've got to tell you something. Oh, no. Yeah, you knew it was coming, right? <sighs> um, uh, I'm actually leaning towards not telling her, if it were me. I feel the same. Just because that was... Sometimes the mature thing... Is not. Uh... It's a tricky one because you know she's going to know everything and won't ever tell her. But it was Sarah's wish at the end of the day, and whilst James has been, yeah, he's he's handled things atrociously. And you made, could cause yeah, even more damage. Exactly, he might send her. I mean, <laughs> we've seen that she can be. Yeah. Volatile. Volatile. That's the word. Thank you. So I would be inclined to not tell her. If she then found out, though, that would be a massive breach of trust. Is there a chance she would ever find out? If there isn't, I don't. I say we don't tell her. If there's a chance she might find out through another way. Well, it sounds like Sarah was going to leave. Yeah, but or something. Damon knows. Damon knows. Yeah. 
And he might say something. Depends on whether Diane's still alive, maybe Frank often. That's my only worry, that she might find out through another means. And that that would be even more hurtful, because then she'd feel like she lost Chloe as well. I mean, I think she'd go and do something to Damon if she found out. As in, Rachel would be stupid and, mm. and then hate her dad, obviously. And are we going to go with Protect? I think so, personally. Hey. What's wrong? I failed you. I couldn't find her. I'm so sorry. Funny, you seem so confident. I really thought you'd find her. Yeah, me too. Maybe we can try tomorrow. M maybe she hasn't left town yet. Of course. I know wherever she is, she loves you very much. How do you know that? Because why should she be any different from the rest of us? Mm, I think that was probably up there with hard decisions along mm. with the um, euthanasia one. Oh yeah. Spoilers, by the way, for original Life is Strange. Oh. So she's living oh, wow. with, she's living the, with the fact that um Oh, oh Frank's okay. Does that mean Damon's? I get the feeling Damon it was it was gonna be a thing to the um Is Damon dead then? It sort of suggests that. Because that was uh, Damon's knife. And there was blood on Damon's photo. So would that have potentially been the other way around if we'd done different choices? Well, possibly not, because uh, he's there in the, the main life is strange. Frank's still alive. Oh, of course, yeah. Ah, uh, not that we're huge fans of David at this point, but... They're now getting married. Would this cutscene have been different? Because we had like choices to make about how we treated David. We did. Throughout. Same with Elliot. He's on. Ah, so that cutscene would have been. I'm guessing it affects the cutscenes then. It does. So we we managed to get Elliot well, arrested. Again. Um... Ah, oh, it's good to see Drew's out of hospital. And playing isn't playing the nerd games, even though they thought they were nerds for it. Love it. Um, playing the nerd games. That's well, he, he, you know what I mean. He, he described it as like nerd stuff, didn't he? I'm still confused by those two. Like, yeah, it's all. Um, uh. Hmm. <laughs> Principal Wells has been like, oh. <laughs> well, what can you do? Not very much. No, the thing is, David and Joyce, they get, they get married anyway. They do. So that... Yes, but what change. I mean is whether Chloe would have been 
behaving the same in that scene. Right, gotcha. Maybe it would have depended on, because we were quite sort of open to having a, a good relationship with David in our playthrough. Mm. So maybe if we hadn't been, then we wouldn't have hugged as a family or something. Maybe not, or maybe she just wouldn't have been there or something like that. And so and here, she just looked unhappy. here, maybe for example, Yeah, it, it just might, have been, it might have been different if we'd chosen to not. Uh, if we We did. So, oh, 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 look at that for a, a split. We were just with the majority. That's um, more or less 50 50, isn't it? Mm hmm. Wow, okay. Next. Was that it? Square. Uh, a square. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You killed the plant with soda. Excellent. But, but, that, but we tried. To Wait, like... you're going to kill it one way or another. It's just which way around you're going to do it. Wow, 90% accepted okay. David, David's photograph. You didn't have Drew's money at the start of the day. I guess that would have been if we um, had kept the money with us, we'd have had another chance to give it to, uh, yeah. to Drew. We visited the Norths at the hospital, yep. You sparred with <laughs> Drew over pudding. You played tabletop with Mikey, ah. Oh. Didn't know we could. Nope. He didn't donate to the Firefighters Fund. It's because we didn't realise it was possible to. Oh, we could have we spoken. Went... We saw those guys, didn't we? We, we didn't we have we any money to we do anything. We couldn't interact with them, exactly. Yeah. You can reveal to Damon that Thunder was the snitch. Also, Thunder was the snitch. No, not necessarily. Well, it's the fact it says reveal rather than convincing. Convinced oh. Damon that Sheldon was and convinced Damon that Gerald was. So revealed Thunder. Which one was Thunder? Thunder was the bouncer. Oh, was the bouncer. Apparently. How would we have worked that out? I was convinced it was Sheldon. And Rachel didn't meet her mother and Rachel met her mother. Right, yes. That was a separate choice. What do you mean? That was a separate thing. To, you know, obviously to the whole, did you tell the truth or not? That's a separate thing. Nice, because the other one was 50-50, but that's 73% saying Rachel didn't meet her mother. Right, yeah, but maybe if we'd... Maybe we, we would have got an extra scene. Maybe. If we'd told her the truth, then it might not have ended yeah. where it did. Well, that what that picture's suggesting, that, that was the very last thing we saw, the, the sunset scene. scene, so we'd actually... That would have been have Ra her. Rachel meeting Sarah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Mm. So the end of Before the Storm. Right. Okay. Happy days. Or there, there's the, um, the bonus, the, fa the farewell episode. Yeah. If so. I exit, I wonder what's going to happen. Let's find out. Whether we're going to get.
Okay, what's the song what about? What on earth is that all about? Just passport photos or, mm -hmm. or what? That's where it happens. Oh shit. Well playing it in the order we did, we knew that was the case. Just adds more to it, doesn't it? Now that you've completed before the storm, say goodbye to Arcadia Bay for the bonus farewell episode. Well we will. But we'll leave that for <laughs> <Not today. laughs> another time. Um, hope you've enjoyed the Let's Play. Um, join us again for the farewell episode. And then we'll be going from there with the game I always forget the name of. It's the sort of free episode before Life is Strange 2. Oh, the, uh, that other one, the, the fancy Captain awesome something or other. The Awesome Adventures of Captain... Something or other. Or the strange adventures of Captain Awesome. So, you all know the one I mean. That, I just can't that remember one. that, that one. one. Um, but yeah, look out for those on the channel next. Till then, bye. See ya.